I thought, why is this thing living inside of me? And ew. Now a story you will see only on Action News. One Clovis student is on the road to recovery tonight, but her sister is still in the intensive care unit after a sudden and debilitating case of E. coli. Action News reporter Santaya Rose visited them today. The nine-year-old third grader is still critical, and her 13-year-old sister is improving. Santaya joins us now with a story again you'll see only on Action News. Santaya? Well, Warren, Mariska and Willow were active, healthy kids with no medical history. Their parents thought it was a virus or terrible case of the flu, but after days of worsening symptoms, they were admitted to Valley Children's Hospital with E. coli. It was very miserable. I couldn't eat anything. It was the worst thing ever. 13-year-old Mariska Niles is finally starting to improve after 16 days in the hospital. She's had more blood transfusions than she can count, along with excruciating stomach pain. It felt dizzy to stand up, and it, it was just horrible. Tasha Niles says her daughters were having a great school year until the start of Thanksgiving break. And these were strong, healthy girls, and it just... I had no idea it would be like this. The sisters were diagnosed with E. coli HUS, or typical hemolytic uremic syndrome, but the girls had unique cases. Theirs was pretty atypical, um, particularly the severity of Willow's case was very, very severe. This form of bacteria usually originates from contaminated food or water products. Pinpointing the exact source has been difficult. They haven't traveled anywhere recently. The family hadn't eaten out lately. It's likely other family members also ate what the girls did but did not become violently ill. Even more puzzling, Mariska and Willow rarely eat the same thing. Which is why we can't figure out what it would have been. And Mariska and Willow have very different tastes in food. There are very few things that they like in common. So, you know, it, it narrows things down quite a bit more. Willow's kidneys still aren't working. She's been debilitated by toxins from the infection and at one point couldn't wake up. Within, an, I think, a day, she was up here in the PICU as well because she was not responsive anymore. Both sisters have been on dialysis. Willow is still very sick. Her sister is now able to draw, watch movies, and listen to music. She has also started to eat again. I can actually stand up without wanting to barf now. They may have a long road ahead of them, but I certainly think that they have a very good chance of recovery, um, and patience and time will tell. Initially, the girls were together in the ICU, but now Mariska has been moved. It's been the hardest part of getting well, wondering how her little sister is doing. I miss her. And if she continues to improve, Mariska could be out of the hospital within the next few days. Doctors expect Willow, though, will be there through the holidays. Their parents, though, have not left their sides and both remain off work to be with them. Santaya Rose, ABC 30 Action News.